Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a, a quick review of a, an interesting calculation that I think would be worth having a look at and it's, a, it's really an extension of a historical video that I've done calculating up um, how many staff do you currently have at any one point in time. Someone actually uh, wrote a comment, of, I think that's how I got the idea around well how do you calculate staff turnover as well. Okay, and so I want to show you how you can, and then how you can compare. So how many staff you're getting on board, and how many you're actually losing. So quite, quite an interesting insight, right? And I think you're actually fine that if you can understand how to calculate current staff, well then calculating staff turnover isn't hugely difficult. Um, it's just a matter of changing up the formula just slightly. Okay, so the first thing you've got to remember here is uh, we need to have, or we want to have, in this particular case inactive relationships between our date table and our staff population table. Now the reason for that is, and I've covered this a few times, is we have two dates in our our, our staff table. We have a date, so we have a, a row for each different staff member, we have a date that they started, and we also have an end date, but we also have, say, say they're still with us and they, they, they didn't actually end, we actually have a blank, right? So we, we have a blank result as well. And so if I say, um, did this in order of when the staff actually joined, you actually see, okay, well this, this person joined in February 2018 and they left um, sort of one and a half years later pretty much. And you can see that some of these people are still around obviously, okay? And so we've, we've calculated, um, this, is a, this is a totally de demo data set by the way, um, but we've calculated our current staff and I'll, sh I'll show you again the formula for that. So basically we're saying, okay, on any particular day, how many staff members had started prior to that day, that's what this one's doing, and have an end date greater than that particular day, or they have a blank next to the end date saying, suggesting they are still actually, they're still actually with us. And that's how through time, through, and this, is, this, this visualization is through time, we can say, okay, well, how many staff do we, can, um, do we have at any one point in time? Okay, now staff turnover, okay, so this is the formula I used for staff turnover, I said, it's actually simpler, I said count up how many staff we have, but all we need to do really here is we need to say, go through every single end date, okay, so we need to go through every single end date on every single row here, so let's go and find our first result actually, and we need to say how many end dates are less than or equal to the current date in the in the particular table or the current date in the current context okay so in this particular case this is the very first day where we had people leave we had three people leave on the 31st of the 5th and so what this is what's going to happen is that when we get down to that particular end date it's going to it's going to finally evaluate to true and that's why we get three and so if we do a bit of analysis here you'll see that the very first people that actually left us were, were on that date. Three people left us on that particular date. <clears throat> Even though they started in different times, they left us on that particular date. And that's how we then get three, and then we had, obviously had another person who left the very next day. So what I also need to do, so this, this, this would continually work at every single day. You've got to remember that in every single row here, this particular part of the formula is working through every single end date in that staff population table because there's no active relationship in our model forcing any sort of natural filtering that's going on right so every single row every single staff person is being evaluated over and it's saying is the end date less than the current date in this particular case is it less than this date is it less than this date is it less than this date so on and so forth okay and then if it evaluates it true then it, it, it remains, but what we're also doing is we want to make sure we take out all of the blanks as well, because if it's a blank, then they've obviously not left us, right? So we don't even, we can just totally disregard this part of the table, and that's what we're doing um, inside of Calculate with some additional um, context, con um, concept, context being considered here. Okay, and then as we work through time, we can see, okay, well, these are when, when all the people are leaving us. And this is, I think this is such a high quality insight, right? You can see how um, how this might look in your own organization where 
you know, you might actually have, depending on how your organization's going, if you're in high growth phase, then yes, you're going to see a big um, big change here. But for example, if you're, um, you know, you've got high turnover, you're going to see it more sort of stable versus versus your versus your current staff numbers. So, so you know, you, you might see sort of like a flatter line, I mean. Um, so yeah, so look, I think I think in terms of, you know, from an insights perspective, this is a really good one. And and hopefully you you could you could recognise this this simple extension of that of that technique right. It all comes down to an active relationship, and then getting familiar with what you can do inside of Calculate with Filter, okay. Especially when you have those inactive relationships. But this is how you got to work with multiple dates. So it's something you've really got to master if this is the type of if this is the type of work that um, that you're potentially doing. Okay, short and sweet today. Um, hopefully you like this insight, like the technique and the idea. Um, definitely throw the video a like if you did. Really appreciate it, as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, take care.